got another special guest. Rebecca, I will link all of her stuff down below. She's giving me a guided tour of the city today and then we're gonna go have shenanigans tonight. <laughs> so we are currently at Pike's Place Market. Pike Place. No. Pike, yeah. there's no, no apostrophe. This is like the view. The real world happened here. <laughs> OG real world. Oh, I thought. <laughs> so we're gonna go check this out. Look at these flowers and like, oh my God, it's like worm. I don't know There's what this so thing is. They're so the soft. They're just so vibrant. These are $10 bouquets, guys. How exciting. We're so getting flowers. I'm getting so many flowers because they're so cheerful. I didn't know there was stuff in here. I thought this was oh, all yeah. fish. Oh no. It's like all crafty stuff. Oh, okay. Well, great. This is like my youth. <laughs> I had like a hundred million of these and I loved them so hard and I would go to the beach and surf because I was that girl. <laughs> this one looks really soft. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, that's pretty soft. It is really soft. Yeah. That's a beautiful sweater. I think it would get pilly though. Yeah, probably. But you know what? It's such a life. Such is life. You have to deal with the pills of life. <laughs> this guy's playing a mop. <laughs> Look at these beautiful cherry blossoms. Oh my god. I love this too. This one's so beautiful. Because look at these flowers. Oh, they have dried ones too. Oh my gosh. These bouquets are so beautiful. This, this um, entire vlog is just going to be flowers now. <laughs> Hope you guys need a chill out break because that's what's happening. Yeah. Beautiful tulips in this stall. My tulips are just starting to poke out of the ground. Like, it's just the leaves. But also, I'm already seeing bites taken out of them. Oh, all my Probably viewers in like Holland them. are like amateurs. We've got tulips. Yeah, but uh, they do have like a tulip festival here. That is a big fish. That's a big fish. Wow. Just for the halibut, huh? <laughs> 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 my camera's shaking. Uh, for all of you guys that need your fish fix, here it is. You touch, you, you, touch, you buy. Oh, I should get that on some garters. <laughs> That's what these are, they're willows. Oh my god, they're so soft. They feel like Keanu. <laughs> oh. oh god, guys, this is ridiculous. They're so beautiful. I had no idea this was here. I thought we were coming to look at fish. <laughs> I mean, we did see fish, to be fair. Would anyone like to see more flowers? <laughs> here they are. Flower porn for days and days. Oh, look at those crab legs. Holy cow. That's insane. But wait, there's more. Oh, you know I collect these things. <laughs> I collect $1 fans to bring on planes with me because me and my husband are always well, warm. I don't think these are $1 fans. No, and also I've gotten ones of these in China and Japan yeah. that were primo. I want one that says, like this Seattle one uh -huh. with the weird lace on it, this is my jam. <laughs> like I have one of these from Argentina that's just ridiculous. I have a wooden one, like a flamenco style fan. Uh -huh. It's a Barcelona fan, so it has Barcelona painted on it. I have one from Tokyo that has all of the big Tokyo buildings as the fan oh. leaves. Look, there's, there's this stuff too. What is this? Food. Food. What is this? <laughs> this the stuff that we call food. Sustenance is available. We're gonna go get, what did you call it, pierogi? Okay. We got pierogies from Pierogi Pierogi and now we're gonna go sit in the car and eat them because yum times. So what happens if you catch a fish? Are you allergic to catching fish? No. But you know, they could throw you a fish. Sometimes they do that. There's the gum wall. We're not gonna go down there because you... <laughs> Like, COVID nightmare. <laughs> Alright, this is a Sasquatch, which <laughs> is the um, clinical term for Bigfoot. Not to be confused with the Yeti or Abominable Snowman. 
close cousins though. Uh, like a film made about this. The comfort shop smells so divine. We got some chai and it is the most amazing smelling thing ever. House made chai. House made chai. Like days and days of making this chai. And I also got a crumpet because I can't not have a crumpet. <laughs> and we are now not having breakfast because we're grazing instead. <laughs> I also like this cat. What was his name? Marmalade. Marmalade. He looks pissed. <laughs> Bitch. Guys, we found cheese. Oh my god, this whole thing is cheese. Rip. Oh, look at the other one. Is this called? Oh, oh yeah. This Beecher's. Beecher's cheese. Noms, friends. Noms. Obviously, I bought some cheese, and some of it is like this curd, basically. Um, I bought their flagship cheese salsa, which is very tasty. All right, Rebecca's car is super fun. I, can you explain to me what's going on in the ceiling here? It's bumpy oh. because we're on, on <laughs> pavement, so sorry about this. Um, so those are my frogs and also my mom's frog um, from the what used to be the Velcro area of <laughs> Epcot. Uh-huh. Um, Epcot had like this whole Velcro experience thing, like a show and then a crafty area. Oh, really? Yeah, and so... Um, I made two of the frogs. My mom made the princess one, uh -huh. and I made the other two. That okay. was back in 2010. Awesome. And the two of them lived on my car, and then the one lived in here, which was my mom's car. Uh. Um, and now it is my car, and so, <clears throat> pothole, just to warn you. Pothole. Um, so Sorry, now guys. they all live here. <laughs> okay, so this one is Ursula. This one is a tourist, mm -hmm. and this is a princess. You can see because the tourist bought the hat, the, the Mickey hat. Yeah. yeah. I like Ursula. Yeah. <laughs> we are at the locks. What's happening? Oh. Oh, they're in their construction. Whoa, 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 umbrella craziness. <laughs> Do you want to put the umbrella down? No, because I'm filming and I don't want to get my camera oh, wet. Okay, your camera wet. Whoa! But it is windy. Whoa! It is so cold. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there is what it, what what river is this? Uh it's not. It's the locks. Of what? Of the what? bay? Well no, this so this flows from um, Lake Union. What body? Okay. Lake Washington. Okay. Um, out to Elliott Bay. Okay. Or out to the Puget Sound. All right. So there's that, and then, <laughs> and then there's this, and my camera is getting so wet. Yay! Yeah, and there's a fish platter over here. Oh. So that's what you can go down and view. Um, oh. You can see the ladder point here. Uh, what does that no mean? Fish this time of year. So they the fish. Um, they live like a lot of their life out in the salt water. Yeah. But they um, like salmon. Salmon. That's yeah. what they are. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. But they come in here to like have babies and stuff. Oh, okay. And so they have to go up the ladder because it's like a 15 oh. or 20 foot difference. Oh. Of water level. So I see. Like, have you been to a locks before? Yeah, I've been oh, okay. to like Amsterdam locks. Okay. And stuff. Yeah, because it's a boat elevator. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So the fish have to get through as well. So they have this ladder. I mean, I've also been through the Panama Canal. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, so but they, salmon can go up like 
waterfalls by themselves. Do you know that? Like they so, don't actually need this help. It, it's a lot easier for them yeah, to yeah. go the ladder, but it's actually still really challenging. Yeah. Um, but there's such a force of water that's coming down. Yeah, that's that they crazy. Really can't go they that can't way. go through that. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, and so there's the fish ladder, and during I think it's like May through August uh -huh. is when they're coming in. Oh, okay. Um, and you can see so many fish. Uh, the room that closes the viewing room where it's like glass walls and you can see underwater. Right. What they're seeing. But sometimes you can also see the fish actually jumping. Oh, that's cool. The ladder. Yeah, from here. I'll have to come so. back here when it's not freezing cold and look at that. <laughs> it's <laughs> so cold. <laughs> Here's a boat going through right now. So this is one side, and then this is the other. And that is how locks work. They'll close off the other side and drain this to let a boat in, and then they will lift it up with the water and then let it out. There's something very zen about this. Very zen? Yeah. Sound of rushing water? Yeah. Wow. We have bad news, friends. We went to Value Village. Is that Value what it Village, was? Yeah. Value Village is closed <sighs> now, and we just found out there's big closed signs on it. So depressing. We were gonna have way? some values at that village. Mm -hmm. So um, now we are gonna go check out some thrift stores. Well, we're gonna go to Goodwill, which used to suck, so we'll see if it still sucks. Apparently, Value Village gave all their stuff to Goodwill, so we're gonna go Hopefully. check that out, Hopefully and see what we um went from the locks we went to this place called taco time and i did not bring my camera in we but went to golden I, gardens first yeah. oh we did go to golden, golden gardens it uh, which freezing. it was freezing so we just got back in the car look at um, this little house oh my god this house is cute this is freaking adorable we drove around a lot of neighborhoods that were super um, cute oh oops, like all the neighborhoods in seattle are super cute yeah um Anyway, so we went to Taco Time where I had a thing that was decidedly a burrito. I'll put a picture of it here on the screen for you. <laughs> um, and you can let me know if you think this is a burrito or taco. If you um, are an addict of Taco Time, you're not allowed to vote because you're wrong. Are you filming this truck being weird? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's that truck being weird. <laughs> I didn't you know you were pointing out, so I didn't know. Oh, I'm just showing them the neighborhood. Okay. Like, here, here's what it's, so it looks like, you know, a neighborhood. Cute, to be honest. In general. Yeah, this one is not as good as yeah. the last one. We went to some bougie, bougie neighborhoods. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, that's what's up. Um, I had a thing that was like my grandmother <laughs> taco <laughs> meat that got made into a burrito. Oh, it's not a taco, but it was called a taco, and I ordered a taco, and that's not what I got. And it was time, and you made the tater tots. <laughs> yeah, oh, and, and they AKA have- a Mexi fries. They call them Mexi fries, but they're tater tots, which I'm just like, <laughs> no. No, that's not Mexi fries, but I'll take your tater tots, because I love tater tots. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> and then I got shunned by a couple people in my Instagram story, no feed, big story? Yeah, story, story, because I was trying to figure out if it was a burrito or a taco, and they're like, oh, you're a taco time, that's definitely a taco. I'm like, no, that's what a burrito. I feel like I went this is a far. Washingtonian lie. I'm looking at you, silken thimbles. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of, I'm gonna see her later this week. Um, anyway, we're gonna go do some poking around for a little while. We have a few hours before we're gonna have dinner with um, Morgan and her husband, and then we have shenanigans. <laughs> and I'm excited about the shenanigans. Me too. Yeah. Oh my god, look at this beautiful conservatory. I'm going back in the car because I don't want to put my camera in the rain. Look at how beautiful that is. What is it called? Uh, it I think it's just called the Volunteer Park Conservatory. We're in Volunteer Park, in case that was not obvious from that name. Um, <laughs> uh, it looks so pretty. And it was built in, in, I think, 1912. Oh, that's cool. Titanic Day. Mm -hmm. Cool. We're, We're driving. Somewhere in time. We're driving around this. Oh, um, yeah, so a lot of people from Seattle were asking me about costume things and like what the guilds are here and stuff. Do you want to talk about that? I can, yeah. So there are a few. Um, the, I think, most well-known one is Somewhere in Time Unlimited, Situ, 
Uh, this, by the way, is the Asian Art Museum. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, so they, so yeah, they do a lot of events. They do, I don't know, like several events a year. Um, I don't tend to do a lot with them. Uh, there is also the Puget Sound Historical Customers Guild, which I am one of the founding members of. Um, and I don't know what this, I think this is a water tower, but it's really cool. I don't know if it's, you can film that up. I like cannot, that. but you can. But, oh, can tell me to, yeah, just tell me if someone drives up behind me. Okay. Yeah, I do that. I also don't know what I'm aiming at, we'll so. Get yeah, I know, but I'm driving also, so it's harder. Okay, so that's like a tower. You're not focused. How do we focus? There we go. Touch it. Oh, well, now it's focused. But yeah, I think that's really cool. Um, so yeah, the Puget Sound Historical Customers Guild. And we do events of all eras. So does Situ. Both of us do events of all eras. Um, we tend to be a little bit more South Puget Sound focused just because I tend to plan 95% of the events and I live in the South Puget Sound. We're entering the Volunteer Park er uh, neighborhood right now, which is like the most gorgeous. So that's what I wanted to show you. Here. Keep talking like, and I will show them. Yeah, houses. Um, and then there is also the Washington Regency Society, um, which is a really great group they like they are so active and I wish that they were active in more than just Regency I'm just gonna wait for this car to come through um, because they do oh, here, come right they do so many events um, and are always planning fun things picnics and teas and stuff like that but of course it's all Regency which gets in my opinion really boring <laughs> pretty quickly um, same same yeah <laughs> but uh, they although Emma yeah, um, oh my god, Emma was so pretty. Pothole. So pretty. Pothole on. Oh, oh, this is oh like the god. worst street to be filming on, guys. Is, yeah, it's gonna be super bumpy, but these houses are freaking gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I would say that they're the third group. I don't know if there's more in addition to that, to be honest. Okay. But. And uh, who does the, um, the Big Fest, Victorian Festival? Uh, none of the above, actually. Uh, okay. The Victorian Festival is done by uh, the organizer for this year. Well, I mean, she did a wonderful job organizing it, and it's really sad that it's not happening. Um, but her name is Tracy, and um, she just took on so much, and uh, it's really fun, and it's over in Port Townsend, but it's not associated with any costuming group. It's How actually, do people find them? Uh, Vicfest.org. Okay. Or I think there's also an event on Facebook or something. I'm going to go this way because... I mean, there's so many houses, but like, they're so beautiful. Look at this tree house that this what ginormous house What even is that? Like, what? What? <laughs> that's oh my amazing. god, that's gorgeous. With houses, the slide. Want every house. That kid is so spoiled. Oh, and a trampoline. <sighs> um, but these houses, though. Yeah, these houses are just amazing. Oh, this one's pink. Seattle, <laughs> Seattle is beautiful, guys. Like, just stunning. But also, these houses are like these are ridiculous. Start at two million. But I'm also, sure. we've been through so many neighborhoods today that, like, we we like people we've driven all over Seattle today. Um, <laughs> That's true. Um, That's very true. We have seen so many neighborhoods that, like, you know, they may not be as big as these, but they're just as beautiful. Yeah. Seattle's gorgeous. These guys get views. Look how gorgeous this house is. It's massive. Like, just so it big. Really I like the turret. This one over here on the left looks like a girl's boarding school from oh this God. one here. Yeah, Look it at does. This. It like, looks like Mrs. Peregrine's school for... That movie was the most disappointing. Was it? Oh my God, it was so sad. And by sad, I mean they ruined it. Rebecca has opinions, peeps. It was like the worst book to movie translation in the history of Pam. By the way, if you love Rebecca, I'm linking her down below. She has a YouTube channel where she shows you how to make things, which is more than I do so <laughs> I, I take you places with me whereas she will actually show you how to make things Only sometimes but yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah hello from bud hello from where my northern Seattle um, I have moved hotels into a Hampton Inn um, and largely to be closer to Morgan for the weekend that we have that we can hang out together in so that's cool I had a really great day today Rebecca and I drove all over Seattle like just everywhere like I feel like I've seen every neighborhood in Seattle I've obviously not seen every neighborhood in Seattle um, but I went and I saw a lot of them and uh, they're very cute like I love Seattle it's beautiful
the houses here are lovely <laughs> and i also got the full ex the seattle experience because it was raining it actually slushed on my car because it was like 33 degrees when i like rolled in to my final destination tonight but we had a really great day so that was awesome and then we went to dinner with morgan and her husband and then we filmed a thing which i will post very soon which was a drunk sewing challenge that I just like made up and they they were willing victims for that to happen so that was cool um and I was I was mean <laughs> I made them do mean things <laughs> so um that was fun for me <laughs> uh so that'll be posted soon I'm very excited about it yeah, I'm not sure what the rest of this weekend will entail. We're definitely going to some fabric stores and stuff and hanging out and whatever. So I don't know how life is um, going right now. I'm reading the news from Apple News and they're like, oh yeah, Washington might like restrict people to their homes and stuff like that. And I was like, cool. And like cordon off zones that are like, you know, guarded by guards and stuff. And I'm like, awesome. Like, I hope that means I can still go home because I kind of want to be able to do that. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, should I eat on out of here or what? But, um, my husband and I talked it and we decided that I'm just gonna keep on keeping on as it is. Um, he went to Target today. I'll put a picture of the toilet paper free aisle. <laughs> Um, that people keep being like, is this real? Yeah, it's real. <laughs> yeah, it's people are going crazy. And like, that's in California, like San Jose. Like, why are you worried about toilet paper? Meanwhile, like there's people who are not, okay, I'm not saying like, we actually need toilet paper <laughs> is the thing. Like, we're not panic buying toilet paper. We just need toilet paper. Like we're almost out of toilet paper. And so he needed some. So he actually just got desperate and ordered off Amazon, which is such a waste of shipping and box and whatever. But if you can't find it at any of the local stores, like, what's he supposed to do? And that's the thing is, like, people are panic buying, like, bales and bales and bales of toilet paper, but, like, normal people who are just trying to, like, live their life for the next, like, week or two are like, no, but there's no toilet paper. <laughs> so I just think he was telling me how weird he thought this election was because there's stuff that's missing that he couldn't, like, account for. Like, all the frozen chickens and frozen fish are gone, but none of the frozen beef. And he's like, why? Um... So, and he's like, the toilet paper's all gone, but all the feminine products are still here. So you can tell that the dudes are panic buying, but and it's not the chicks. And I'm just like, I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> but nice try and observation and way, for, way, way to go for sending me a um, picture of the sanitary napkin aisle. That's awesome. Anyway, um, so anyway, I had a really great day and it was fun. And hopefully tomorrow will be also fun. I'm super burnt out and really tired, so I'm going to go to sleep, um, and I will see you guys later. Um, if you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, then please go ahead and do so, and I will keep chugging vlogs out <laughs> from this trip, and hopefully you guys are enjoying. Okay, night guys.